Mr. President, Mr. Secretary General, and friends. The verse reads, And like a young woman mourning the death of her husband. These words are found at the end of the liturgy of the ninth day of the Hebrew month of Ab. That day has come to be known as Jewish Tragedy Day. We mourn the destruction of the temples in Jerusalem and other devastations that took place during that time. And we mourn and we cry. And yet those words, and like a young woman mourning the death of her husband, those words are not cried. They are sung to a happy tune. And the question is, how can one sing those awful words? And the answer given is that, that at the time of the great destruction, there were small signs of hope. There were indications that life would somehow go on, that good would ultimately conquer evil. And so we mourn, but at the same time we sing because of those signs of hope. Tov lahodot ladonai ulizamer l'shimcha elyon. It is good to thank God, and yes, even to sing his name. We thank God for our symbols of hope in the midst of the destruction in America on September 11th. The firefighters, police officers, and emergency medical workers who with their ultimate sacrifice turned a day of pure evil perpetrated by man into a day of remarkable heroism on the part of man. We thank them for restoring our faith in humanity at the moment that that faith was waning. We thank God for a city and a country that set aside all possible differences and united into a family. We thank God for a mayor who has been able to keep the city moving and confident under the most difficult of circumstances. We thank God for the armed forces of America and other countries who are fighting this battle for us and our way of life. And above all, we thank God for our president, who has demonstrated international leadership in an attempt to demolish evil wherever it may be hiding. But more importantly, he has very obviously felt the pain of those who lost loved ones on that fateful day. The psalmist says, God, hear our voices when we call. Be gracious toward us and answer our prayers. Dear God, we pray that each of us in this country and others around the world is successful in our own way in replacing the evil in this world with goodness. Bring victory to our armed forces and guard them from injury and distress. Help this city and this country and the world to never forget the destruction of September 11th, but to build on the heroism of that day. But most of all, God, comfort those who are mourning for loved ones lost in New York, Washington, and Pennsylvania, mourners from around the world. Give them the strength and courage to go on Give them hope for the future, and may they have only health and happiness for many years to come. May the souls and the memory of those who have perished be forever bound among the souls of the living. Amen. Thank you, Rabbi. Appreciate you. Good job.